So today we're going to do smooth hair and I'm going to show you my hair starting from fresh out of the shower after I've shampooed and conditioned and then the styling product that I use to blow dry and then the steps I take to smooth it out with my hair straightener, uh, my flat iron. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope that you learn something from it and you'll be able to recreate this look yourself. If you have any questions about the products that I used or the tools that I used, leave that in the comments. And as always, I put links in the description box of the exact things that I used in this, in my video. Y'all have a great day and I hope you enjoy this video. So I washed my hair with the Pureology Smooth Perfection Shampoo and Conditioner. That was step one. Uh, I don't have anything in my hair. I haven't put anything else in my hair yet. This is step two. Frizz Dismiss by Redken. I put about... Uh, Can you see it? I don't, about a dime size. And I work it through my hair. And I comb through my hair with my fingers. I do an, another, that was about a pea size. Right. Then I take my blow dryer. I do think this is an essential tool. There are those who beg to differ. And you go ahead. You do you. I think this is an essential tool. I have it. I have it on the hottest and blowing the hardest. I don't want to spend all freaking day blow drying my hair. So I do a rough dry first. I blow down. My bangs start to get dry. Um, I take a round brush. This is the one I'm using right now. I have this one. It's a Cricut Thermal something or other. It's just technique. I have a 370 and a 390. This is the 390. The 370 is in my kit. and I go like this right here at the crown because I want there to be some volume, some lift there. And I want that Bridget Bardot look. So I blow my bangs towards my face and you have to, whatever look you're going for, you, you can't wait until you know, till you're styling it, you have to start from the get-go, from when it's wet. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to 
put another dime size amount in my hair. I put in a little, I don't know why, I feel like when I put in a little bit at a time, the hair drinks it up better than if I try to put a bunch on at once. So now I'm going to rough dry some more. I did want to give particular attention to that front before it got too dry. Alright, I don't feel like that part's drippy wet anymore. So, um, see I do have curly hair. I'm going to go ahead and pull up section it off, take most of it up to the top, and put a clip in it. This is how much hair I have now. Okay, let's smooth this out. So it won't look like when I finish styling it, so it won't look like curly hair that I flat ironed. You know what I mean? All right, now I'm going to move on to the next level. It feels like you may or may not, I, this is a tiny, t half a pea size of the Frizz Dismiss. A lot of people just have a mental block about silicone. You do you, boo. This one feels like it has some product in it. No, we're not finished. Your hair needs to not be damp or it'll kink up on you. It needs to be dry. This is uh, a T3. Yeah, I think it makes a difference. I'll let it heat up. So I'm going to section it again. I'm going to take, I guess I'm going to take this 
smooth each section out. This has got some plastic bristles and some boar hair bristles in it. I'll, I'll show you some extra things to add if you feel like it's necessary. The bottom I just want smoothed out so it's not kinky at the nape of my neck. As we go up some, I'm a little more particular about the direction or the angle. Alright, that's smooth. This T3 does not have a thermostat it it supposedly knows what temperature it needs to be for maximum benefit do i know that to be true that they're not lying i i don't know this this iron hasn't disappointed me before Okay, on the sides right here, I want it a little lifted from the root, so I do that. I can't see it back there. I'm assuming I got it. Okay, while the camera was cooling off, I went ahead and finished smoothing my hair out. Here's a spot that I didn't get. All right, so on this top layer, I go in that direction so that we don't, so it's not flat. So it's not flat to my head. I mean, it's smooth, it's just not glued to my head. like that and then the very the very front here's how i do the very front Then you gotta let it cool. And then that's the way it looks in the front. Then I take this spray, it's called Bedroom Hair Flexible Texturizing Hairspray. and I spray it underneath 
and I do this, spray this side underneath, and do this. I want it to have lift and curve around. And then back here, this is the do-over. Spray it at the roots. Oh, there's a kink. Gotta fix it. And I'll show you how I sleep on this. All right, before, before I show you how to I sleep on this, Let's, uh, ugh, tickles. This is bed head and it's called Head Rush. It's a silicone spray. It smells like cake. Makes your hair shiny and it also coats that cuticle down some more so the Moisture can't get in and make your hair kink up. I mean, it can. Let's see if we can do a, a straight part. So there's what my hair looks like and then when I go to bed I'm gonna do this and I already have my pajamas on all right pull it up on top of my head Twist it like this. This is an invisible with velvet over the top of it. And there you have it. Take it down in the morning it's relatively smooth it may have a little bit of a wave in it and I can leave that because it'll it'll look good but my hair will still be smooth it won't be kinked up all right so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's helpful for those of you girls who have hair that wants to get big and kinky and frizzy and curly and you want it to be smooth once in a while. I hope it was helpful. These are the key tools that I use to make my hair smooth. I guess I can insert some pictures at the end of what my hair looks like when I wear it curly.